Hey there, Pisces. This is Renee, and welcome back. Pisces, this is going to be your next 48 hours. What's coming towards you? What you can expect the next 48 hours. Now, this 48 hours is going to start when you actually view this video. So, let me tell you, this video is timeless. Okay, so this is intended for you in your 48 hours in real time. Okay, just one moment. Let's take a look at your energies, Pisces. I had to get my glasses so I could see. Okay, Pisces. Okay, we have the Five of Swords and the Two of Cups energy. So, Pisces, who are you in conflict with? What's going on? I feel like you and another person are in some kind of conflict. There's some kind of struggle in process. And I feel like you and this person are trying to come to come some sort of resolution, some sort of answers that need to be clarified for you and this person. There's something that's left unsaid, okay? Um, because I feel like this person, I'm getting the feeling that this person cares very deeply for you. I feel like this is a situation to where um, it is very strong okay um the relationship is strong but i feel like there's some sort of struggle that you and this person are trying very hard to get through to find answers to and oh i'm feeling like wow what kind of struggle are you going through pisces we need to find some clarity for this Give me more to this message, Spirit. Give me more to this message for Pisces for the next 48 hours. What is going on with this situation? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Okay, I feel like one person is very passionate about the situation, but one person is really passionate about starting over. And another uh, person, this may be your energy, Pisces, but I feel like you're kind of in doubt that starting over is going to actually help the situation. I feel like you both may internally want a new beginning, but you kind of, you're not quite sure if a new beginning is what is going to work out. Hmm. Tell me more, Spirit. Give me more of a message. The world. Okay. And the page of wands. Something isn't being said. There's something that's very unclear about what you're going through, your current situation. There's something that's being hidden. And I feel like you are trying to uncover what's being hidden. But I feel like the other person that's involved, they may not want you to know because they feel like they're going to be judged in the situation. Okay, um, but I feel like you're ready for this to be complete or over. And I feel like you're waiting for a message. The birds represent a message that you're trying to receive, you're trying to hear or listen to. Okay, so these messengers, and there's three here, so there may be three people involved in the situation to where you're waiting for someone to give you some type of information in order for the situation to be complete, okay? But I feel like you're waiting for a message. 
Don't mind the noise in the back. That's just my kitten playing with her toy. Um, but I really feel like there's some sort of message that you're waiting for. There's some kind of information that I believe will help you get through the situation with more clarity. Okay. What can Pisces do to resolve the situation in the next 48 hours? What can Pisces do to resolve this situation? Okay, be the Empress. Be the Empress, your beautiful self, and lay down your burdens. Just release it. Okay, the Empress energy, she's very fertile. But I also feel, with this Empress, I'm feeling like it's, it's change, it's building, it's feeling a belonging attitude and releasing what burdens you feel like you have, releasing what kind of internal burdens. Okay, I feel like what's going to get you through this situation is releasing your burdens. The Empress energy, this is about creating something different something new you know she's a master creator and i feel like you're trying to create the situation the way you actually want it but there there's some burdens in the way there's some kind of obstacle that you just can't get over and I feel like releasing that burden will actually help give you the clarity on your situation. Okay? Um, just surrendering to divine intervention is going to help you through the situation. It's going to bring more clarity, more clear thinking. Okay? Um, Okay, we have the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. This person, if you're in a relationship with this person, I feel like this person values everything about you. This person actually feels very strongly. They may be grounded. They may be stable. Um, it could be a Earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But I feel like this person really wants this to work out. They want a happy situation with you because they feel a lot of value in this relationship. They, they have invested a lot. I feel you have invested a lot. And this person sees you as the perfect one. They may not tell you that you are the perfect one, but I feel like this person feels like that you are the perfect one for them, even if you do have struggles, even if you do have um, conflicts. Because I'm, I'm going to be totally honest with you, Pisces. There is absolutely no relationship on the face of this world without any type of struggle or conflict okay so these things are natural these things are natural when it comes to a relationship the thing about it is that do you see value in this person is this person someone that you truly value that you truly feel like is the one that you can build with okay give me a message how to resolve this conflict give me an outcome please we have the three of cups and the seven of cups Okay. 
I feel like if there was, if this person said that they had someone else, or if you have someone else, if there's some kind of third party in the situation, if there's someone that the other is just not speaking of, um, I'm feeling like this person is just saying these things to try to get you to be jealous. Um, I'm also feeling like this person is saying these things because it's an illusion that you want to hear. It's something that you kind of expect. And I feel like they're saying these things because they have maybe an issue with settling down at the moment. They feel like they may not be ready for a total commitment. There may be some commitment issues that are kind of lingering in the background. That may be the whole reason for this conflict. Because one person just does not want to commit to the other. And the other person feels like the, the person has too many choices. Too many options. Too many ways out of the relationship okay but I feel like clarity is coming you're gonna get the truth to the situation okay you just have to be patient I feel like in the next 48 hours there's definitely gonna be some kind of resolution some kind of apology um, I'm not going to say this person is going to be ready to commit within the next 48 hours. Um, because that's not really what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that this person truly cares. They find a lot of value in this situation. And I feel like this person wants to provide you with total honesty. But a uh, commitment, mm, I'm just not seeing that yet. Let's take a look a little deeper. Okay, and we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of caring. Um, I feel like... You are asking this person to make a choice. Because you feel like it's time to move to the next level in your relationship. But this person isn't ready. They're not ready to move on to the next step. They're kind of happy the way things are at the moment. They are satisfied with the thing, the way the things are right now. You know, and I feel like that's their total honesty. I feel like that's what they're trying to tell you, you know. I feel like they're saying, you know, accept me as I am. Accept my truth. This is what I can give to you. And I, I do care. I do love you. But this is all I have right now. Okay. But I feel like they, they are happy with you. They are very satisfied. They see you as someone who's very beautiful. Very handsome. Uh, whether you're female or male. Um, this person sees you. They recognize you for who you are. And I feel like this person wants you to recognize them for who they are at this moment as well. You know, who's to say things may change in the future, but they're saying this is who I am right now. Okay. And... I mean, they're willing to move into this new, this new adventure with you. They're willing to keep moving in your direction. The chariot is moving in your direction. 
Pisces. Okay. Um, and they want to see where this leads. They want to take it a little bit more slowly. They want to, you know, work on the situation, build it up and make it strong before they dive right in and make a commitment. They want it to be strong and natural, valuable. You know, they want it to be totally supported. Beautiful energy, actually, Pisces. I mean, this person, if if even if they're saying there's no real commitment, I feel like this person, they're moving in your direction. They're right here. They're moving towards you, whether they say they're committed or not. I feel like this person is here for you. And they're willing to build on your situation. But to say that it's a committed relationship, that's kind of scary to them. I don't think they're ready for that. You know, they're honestly telling you that, you know, I'm going to pull back. I'm not ready for that commitment. Okay? Because they feel like they'll be tied down. But they just want to be free. Free to love you the way that they choose to love you. Okay? Okay, let's get some angel cards. For Pisces. Let's get some angel cards. Matter of fact, you know what? I think we're going to get some of these angel cards because sometimes they will answer a question for you or give you a timeline okay let's take a look what do we have for Pisces the next 48 hours sorry Pisces I dropped a card Oh, oh, wow. Okay. The card that wanted to drop out. What do we have for Pisces within the next few months? So they want to see where this leads to in the next few months. You know, and then their opinions may change. Their attitude may change. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They want to look at the opportunity again in the next few months. Okay? So it's not a definite no. It's, you know, we want to revisit this question, this situation, this opportunity in the next few months. Okay? And so that is what I have for you, Pisces. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And until your next reading, Pisces, many blessings to you. Love and light.